Welcome back to another OPTC guide. This time I'm going to clear the sim uh, Zero Stamina Snake Forest or Boar Forest using a team of friend I had troubles with. So I just made a slight adjustment based on this box. He chose to run it with 20th Brook and very crude Kinemon, also Kanjiro. So I went ahead and replaced the very crude Kinemon for the Fortnite Kinemon for an additional all boost. And I took Shirahoshi with me for the heal. We're gonna use that later. And the Magellan is here to get rid of the turtles on stage 17. You can also bring the Legend Magellan, uh, instead of Legend Magellan, you can bring Raid Magellan, Fortnite Perona, everyone that does poison will instantly kill the turtles. And like with most forests, pretty much nothing happens until you hit stage 11. On stage 11, we will receive a bit above 2000 preemptive damage from Margaret, and she's also giving us block ops and locking them for 5 turns. But thanks to the VAs, that's no problem at all. Now Kami increases defense a bit and if Shirahoshi is below 50% she will go ahead and put up a resilience buff so we can kill her. That's why I usually go and try and kill her first because Kami only deals 1800 damage. Now on this stage we are killing the girls on the back first. You can also get lucky when it comes to the attack interval and have Nami on a two turns attack. Sadly this time she's on a one attack, but that's no problem. She deals damage based on her health. Now I'm going to switch to Luffy. Now the Transformed Viola or go uh, Zombie Viola will limit our chain for 3 turns to 2.0. Now on this stage, if Bonnie is below 20%, she will back heal back to full again. Khalifa will permanently clear your buffs. And if Alvida is below 50%, she puts up her defense to 50,000. Right now it is, I think it is, 20,000. Just going to switch to Ace to have matching ops for Alvida. Have to take a hit from her anyway. Now she will go and attack for around 6,000 damage. Going to deal some damage to her. Switching to Luffy. This is kind of bad for me because now she will increase her defense. 
Going to switch to one ace. Just make sure to hit it perfect and it's no problem. Now this is raid, the same as Raid Boa. Every three turns you will switch your orbs to either meat, tandem or badly matching and also clear your buffs. On the 50% she will half your damage. On the 20% she enrages kinda and also increases her defense and also seal your uh, bind your units for 20 turns. So be careful about that. What I'm doing here is use a Luffy A special. Gonna take the meat up to here. Because thanks to the ace or Luffy special, it's no problem. Now I'm going to switch to my ace and use the Kinemon special here. Then just to take an order. Turn the damage there. Also switching to the ace here. And I take out an order again. This Alvida has 490,000 HP and also has a slightly higher defense. Well, it's no problem because we have matching orbs and hit our perfect there. So now I'm going to use Magellan, which will kill the turtles. I'm going to switch to Khalifa. Khalifa will, every two turns, she will empty our orbs. And also half our, our attack, like you can see here, for two turns. And if she's below 20%, she will um, put up a no, de uh, no damage barrier. So you have to be careful about that. But it's only for one turn. The next turn I'm going to switch to the Luffy's again and just kill her. Or you could just go ahead and skip the attack and let the poison work for you, but I'm trying to get some matching orbs here, maybe. But don't really need it. Now here I'm going to ignore Rebecca. And I'm switching to both aces. And use the. Mm, don't use any special. So now I'm just attacking. Like you can see, Vivi in the background is on a 90 turn cooldown. But every turn she will heal. Like you can see here. Now I'm going to switch to. Luffy and use my special. Then I'm going ahead and kill Vivi. I'm stick there because I wanted to kill Rebecca, but that's no problem. And I'm stalling on Whitey Bay anyway. It's just important that you kill 
uh, Vivi and Robin pretty early because if you leave Robin alive for four turns, she will double the attack of all units for ten turns. Rebecca just has the counter and loses this one after the first turn. Vivi has the complete heal. Koala, that's why you kill her first. If she has one, uh, if she is she below 50%, she will remove or blow away one middle unit. 20%, she will blow away one from the bottom row. And if Whitey Bay is below 20%, she will enrage the entire team. Just to be an attack here and again. Going to use Vivi here. Uh, sorry, not Vivi. Shirohoshi. Skip the attack again. And go ahead and kill her. Now, in this stage. Nami, if she's below 50%, will deal 12,000 uh, damage. Your Chora, Chiola, preemptively shuffle our orbs. Robin will re erase the defense of all units if she's below 50%. I don't know what Baby 5 does. Tashigi under 20% will deal 8,000 damage. And give us block orbs for the com for our right row. And if Hina attacks, she will bind a random unit for two turns. What I'm doing now is I'm going to switch to Monet's. Yeah, no both aces. Use Magellan. This Luffy A is special. And then attack Justin Earl. Mm, it's good up there, but Nami dies anyways. Now I'm going to switch to one Luffy. Try and kill Robin, because she would of the defense of the other ones and go ahead and kill the five now Chiola only does switch our orbs if she's below 50 percent uh, not 50 below 20 percent can show you that one or oh, I could if she would have the poison so no problem here just going to switch to Luffy. Going to use one Kinemon special. And I try to bring her as close to 50% as possible. She attacks every turn for around 6000 damage if you had damage reduction. And only. Under 50% she will start the same things like on stage 15, meaning doubling our attack and defense, and under 20% she will go ahead and bind your crew for 20 turns. So I can switch to Ace, just for the higher attack because of the matching orbs. So I barely stopped. 50%. Now I can uh, give off again. Going to switch back to the Luffy's. This carrot. Use Luffy A special. And then just go ahead and attack her. You could even kill her, I think, in one turn if you use the Luffy A special, but if you can't, just play it safe. 
I did this one, like I mentioned earlier, because I got a request for it. If you have a similar one, just go ahead and leave me a comment on one of my videos asking for it. I hope you liked the video. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one. Bye bye.